and go subscribe to my Patreon. The B.I.G. Notorious B.I.G. Illuminati Breakdown is dropped on my Patreon. Part one, part two, and part three is on the Patreon. Next video dropping is LeBron James Ballhead. And we also have the RDC World Breakdown on, on Patreon and many other videos. Y'all subscribe. Link is in the description box. Now, as funny as that is, it does show that there was something going on back then. And I'm not I'm gonna tell you guys this. There's a lot of train stations in Hollywood. A lot of train stations in Hollywood, a whole bunch of them. All right. So we need to start understanding that that that's what's been going on for the ages. And they want people to, the reason why they push so hard on plastic surgery, because they want us to want fake and nothing real. OK, they want us to make us desensitized to the real world. Now, this is an article that I came across online. It says, how come no one calls Biggie out for having trans in his video? Video Big has had this one tra a few transgenders in a lot of his videos. And we will talk about that shortly. Now, let's first dive into some of these articles that were online. All right. This right here comes from uh, the dude Choke No Joke when he talked about it. He said Biggie had a few trans in a few videos he made. New info surfacing regarding transgenders in hip hop. It is being said that in the beginning, folks didn't have a problem with any gays when it came to hip hop. Now, hip hop is very misogynistic. I say that to, to say maybe it was not a problem back then, but it's very strange that Bad Boy Records uh, has videos featuring trans women with all the whispers about Diddy and Mr. C coming out and questionable Biggie lyrics. Shit just doesn't add up with Biggie's true sexual preference. And Big Papa video is a trans woman at the 057 mark we see. And at the 145 mark is Shamika, who was trans and who, had, who was in a few more Biggie videos. And it says here, Choke, choke No Joke alleged the women in a Taurus B.I.G. Big Papa and Flavor Air remix video was transsexual women. And this right here is the lady Shamik, well, the dude Shamika. You can kind of clearly see the dude right there. The, the music video Flavor in Your Ear by Craig Mack and Big Papa by Notorious B.I.G. were huge hits on the music charts in the early 90s. The lead model in both of these videos is a transgender, according to Choke No Joke. The model was also featured in B.I.G.'s video Warning. So this, this, this lady, uh, this, tran this train station has been in several of Biggie's videos. Craig Max, well, I will show you where she was at Craig's Mac. Big Papa's video, the Big Papa. Love it when you call me Big Papa. And the warning video. Now, here's a scene from uh, the Big Papa video, why nobody never talked about this scene, where a woman clearly comes to the male's bathroom and urinates. It says, legendary television director Choke No Joke revealed that transgender mingled in hip-hop circles back in the day. This information might be shocking to some, as the hip-hop community seemed to be anti-homosexuality for decades. But this video I'm telling you, when you go back and watch this video, peep out, go back and watch all those 90s videos. You will see a lot of things we missed back in the day. I don't know. I guess it was just 90s stupid, I guess. And now I'm going to show y'all the videos of where this t train station Shamika is popped up in, okay? We're going to first start off with Craig Matt's video. And pay attention to what LL Cool J says. And she's right behind LL Cool J. This train station's right behind LL Cool J. Pitches what he says before he starts rapping. I never paid attention to this. This dude said he, she before he started rapping. And right behind him is a he, she. It's crazy that they had this in the 90s. And look at Diddy's just sitting there chilling. Who say that lady right there is not it? You know what I'm saying? And, uh, there has been still in the air saying that there's not 100% facts as they was TS, but it's from a few reliable sources that that woman was a train station and she's the main model for these videos. All right. And right beside, right behind him, as soon as he says he, she. Now let's move on to another video. She was also in big videos warning where that lady's in the bed. Y'all know how many times I watched this video as a kid and always fantasized about waking up to a woman in a white brow and big titties behind me. That's because of this video. And who's a, and I've been brainwashing Hood Week to find out that that was actually a man. I used to watch this video all the time as a kid and be like, yo, I want to wake up to some big titty women behind me in white bras. And look at this. That was a dude the whole time. And look, and Diddy's in the same video and he's behind the, he has the leopard print pattern behind him. Then y'all know that Diddy's a beta sex kid. And who are they? We all know that's how he gets down. And he's pretty much to blame for a lot of this stuff, pretty much what's going on with Big. But Big's a grown man. So we got to also, he's pretty sure he had his hand in his way. He probably be into this stuff. Who knows? I think Big was going both ways like Diddy. But for him to be okay with a, a openly train station touching him and rubbing him on like that, and in the back, right behind him like that, and laying in the bed with him, clearly lets me know that 
Big was okay with all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Or he didn't, he, he didn't know, but I highly doubt that. But I am very, very, very upset that I was hoodwinked all these years. I was actually looking at a dude and I'm mad. You know what I'm saying? You know, it is what it is, but you know what it is what it is, man. We need to do something. <laughs> Moving forward, we have she popped up again in video in Biggie's song called Big Papa. You see, Buster Rhymes was trying to get at her at first or get at him, whatever we want to call these train stations. And she was the main mom. I, th I think Big was tagging this, man. At this point in the video, I'm like, Big was tagging this. The main part where he says, What's your name? What's your sign? Creeper from behind. That part. He's spitting game to a train station. Now, fellas, when we out and we get hung, we hoodwink, we, when we talk to these these things and they're not letting us know they're dudes, as soon as we find out they dudes, we need to pill out. If you still stay there after find out it's a dude, you something's wrong with you, man. You know what I'm saying? But you got to peep the head. In this picture right here, you can look at this train station head and tell that's a dude. But it's, it's like from an average man, it's going to be hard because I was hoodwinked back in the day. My whole life, I thought this was a lady. But come to find out this was a train station and Big talked this thing multiple times. You know what I'm saying? And like I said in that Big Papa video, why did they put this part in the video? Why? They was letting us know that they're full of train stations in Hollywood. It's full of train station activity. Full of it. And, it, and it's driving me crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't. Every time I go back and look, I'm like, yo, they really did this. You know what I'm saying? They they really put this stuff right in front of us, and we didn't. Pay. I'm telling you, back in the 90s, I guess we were just naive. I guess it was just comedy back then. We just thought it was a joke. But I, they, when you look at it now, they really did for a reason. And look at these two things Biggie's sitting in the middle of. These are dudes. Those ain't even bull daggers. Why would he be sitting in between two studs? But those are actually dudes. I don't even think they're studs. I think those are actually dudes. Look at the thing to the left with the stars <laughs> what is going on here that thing is even if that was a real woman why even have you can do She do it way better, especially when she get her pants on me, Gramps. 